that is a great way to save money. It's actually not what we did in the very beginning, but it is what I would do if I could go back and start the business again because we saved so much money by doing it this way. Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel and welcome to today's video. If you're new here, my name is Georgina, co-owner of Ivy and Twine Candles and I make videos all about making and selling candles. In today's video, we will be going through the various costs involved with setting up a candle business with the aim of giving you a hopefully achievable and attainable idea but also a realistic idea of how much it actually costs to set up a candle business. Which of course is exactly what I did about 18 months ago and our business turned over £75,000 in its first year of business. Before we get started though I'd just like to ask you again to please subscribe to my channel if you haven't done so already. If you are interested in candle making, candle business and generally small business related content. I post videos every Tuesday however please feel free to click the little bell so you do get notified when I post a new video. And if you do enjoy this video and find it helpful then please be sure to give it a big thumbs up so that YouTube knows to show it to more like-minded people. And I'd also like to caveat this video by just saying that of course I am not a business advisor nor an accountant nor even an Excel whiz so please do bear with me and if you are looking to set up your own candle business I would recommend of course you carrying out your own research before doing so. However, this is just meant to give you a bit of an insight to what I have learned in the past 18 months and what I would perhaps do differently if I were to go back and do it again, which I hope you guys will find useful. And with all that said and done, let's jump right in. So in the interest of keeping this video easy to digest and the costs a little bit more palatable, I'm going to be splitting this up into two phases. And that's because it would be totally unrealistic for me to pretend that anyone who's starting their own candle business goes out and spends a massive chunk of money in a one -er. For example, for me personally, I started making candles in June of 2019 and I then got married in August and I launched my business at the end of September, which of course was all centred around the candles which I made for my wedding. So phase one is really going to be all about making your candles, testing your candles and developing your range of candles. For the purposes of this video, I'm going to use my own business as an example, which I launched with about eight fragrances. So we're going to say that we're going to look to launch with eight fragrances and I'm going to want about 100 candles candles in total, which will be about 12 of each scent. So guys, again, as I said, I am not an Excel whiz, so please do bear with me and don't come for me if you are. So the first things that we're going to look at are our basic supplies that we're going to need for testing our candles. So that is going to be, first of all, some jars, wax, wicks, and fragrance oil. So I'm going to be using supplies for candles for many of these supplies. That's a really good tip if you're just getting started is to try and get as many supplies as you can from as few suppliers as possible. Obviously you're going to really cut down on your shipping costs if you do that. So here we have obviously these 20cl candle glass jars. Now obviously for each of the items that I'm going to be looking at today I'm just going to try and find an averagely priced item so that I can give you as realistic an expectation as possible. So just take that on board that obviously there will be more expensive expensive um, options available and probably cheaper options available as well. So for these glass jars you obviously do get a bit of discount if you start to order more which is always a good thing but we can see here it costs £10.08 including that for a box of 12. Now for the purposes of testing we're probably going to want slightly more than 100 so we can start testing and then we'll have 100 to launch with is the idea. So if we get 10 of these then obviously we'll have 120 and that will more than cover us I'm sure. The next thing we're going to want to look for is wax and what's actually great about these jars is it obviously tells you here this glass will hold approximately 165 grams of wax so that gives us a really good idea of exactly how much wax we're going to want to buy. Um, we'll use soy wax as an example just because it's a really popular wax to use right now. Um, obviously we're looking for a container wax not a pillar or melt wax. So let's go with Nature Wax C3 and for testing purposes you're probably going to want to go for about five kilos um, in these quantities anyway because with a one kilogram bag obviously if you divide 1000 by 165 which is how many grams one candle jar will hold that is only going to give you enough for six candles so that is definitely not going to go far enough so let's go with five kilograms add that to our basket and now looking at wicks another good thing about this website actually is that it gives you um, recommended wicks to use with these specific jars and it actually breaks it down as well into what kind of wax you're using so obviously we're going with the soy wax so we have these two recommendations here 
Now looking at the quantities of these, obviously 10 is maybe going to leave you a little bit short. So I would just err on the side of caution and go with a pack of 50. Obviously it's not a massive amount of money. So if you do have ones left over, it's not really going to be a big issue. So you can see here that for both of those types of wicks, they are going to cost us £3.96 each, which will be a total of £7.92. And now I'm just going to pop those into our spreadsheet. So now if we have a look at fragrance oils, now again, I've just chosen a kind of averagely priced fragrance oil, so there are more expensive ones and there are cheaper ones available. And 50 grams is probably going to be just about right in terms of testing. So we'll go ahead and order eight of those. So you can see already here that because I've ordered all of these items from the one supplier, I now have free shipping on this order, which is fab. So just add that into my spreadsheet. And there we have £163.35. Okay, obviously the next thing that you're going to need is some equipment to make your candles with. In my last video here, I actually did talk all about some great pieces of equipment. So I will add that into the description box below if you would like to go and check that out. So the first thing that you're going to need is of course a good jug to melt your wax in. And I have allowed £20 for this. Now I know that that might seem a little bit steep for a jug but I am going to put that one in there because I have in the past bought and tried to use cheaper ones which are much smaller and honestly having a really good sized jug is just going to make things so much easier for you so this is the jug which I would recommend and I've just checked and I bought this in August of 2019 so it was actually before I launched that I had this. Um, it's great because this is a three litre capacity jug. From this size I can get about 15 candles worth and it has a plastic candle which is obviously great if you're using the double boiler method because it's not going to get too hot when you're taking it out of the pot or pan that you're using. The next thing that you're going to need are your scales and I would recommend having a small set of very accurate scales which you can use for your fragrance oils because in terms of safety it's really important that you get that right. So the scales which I would recommend for your fragrance oils would be a small set of ones like this which are really accurate and I believe they were £11 at the time um, from a different supplier but they are not available right now so we're going to call it £11.99. And of course you're also going to need some scales for measuring your wax which are going to obviously need to be quite a bit bigger than those ones. I mean some accurate scales which you have in your kitchen already will probably be absolutely fine. However, I'm just gonna factor it in just in case you don't have any scales or any digital scales. So just from a quick browse here, I can see that probably an average price is going to be about £10. So I'm going to pop £10 in there to allow for those. The next thing that you're going to need is a good thermometer. So the thermometer which I recommended in my Amazon equipment video that I just did, they were about £20, £22 um, and they are brilliant. They have an alarm on them so it'll let you know obviously when your wax is at a specific temperature. However, when I first got started I was just using something similar to these thermometers um, which are obviously slightly cheaper. So again, I'm going to factor in £10 for those. And the next thing that I'm going to recommend that you get if you're very new to candle making are some wick centering tools. Again, are they completely necessary for you if you're a beginner? Probably not. However, if you're only making very, very small batches of candles and you're using something that you have around the house like clothes pegs or pencils to try and secure your wick and try and keep it centered. If you come back after a while and find that your candles are set and the wick is completely off center, you won't be able to sell that candle. So what we're trying to do is of course make sure that you are making candles which you will be able to sell eventually. And even for testing purposes, it's important that you have a wick which is centered in your jar. So I'm going to allow for those as well. So here are some wick centering tools which I have bought in the past. Um, as you can see, you can buy 20 of them for £10. So honestly for a tenner I would just say just do it, it's definitely worth it to make sure that you have candles that are going to burn evenly and effectively because the wick is centred. And of course you're going to need something to secure your wicks to your jars. So we will pop in some wick pads. Now again, these are the type of wick pads which I used when I was first getting started. Um, they're great value for money. You can get 200 of them for £6.49. So let's pop that in there as well. Okay, so that takes us to our total for phase one of candle making and testing and developing your range. 
which you can see we have a total there of £231.83. Okay, so now we're ready to move on to phase two, which is going to be all about getting your candles ready to sell. First of all, let's have a look at software, and obviously you are going to need a website to sell your candles on. So we are going to be looking at Shopify because it is what we use and it's what we've used from day one. So it's definitely something that I can recommend. So let's go and have a look at how much that would cost on a basic plan, which I think is actually what we used in the first place as well. So as you can see here, you can get started on a basic Shopify plan for $29 a month. It's really annoying that they don't give you it in pounds, even though we are on obviously the UK website. However, I'm going to go ahead and find out exactly how many pounds $29 is. Okay, so $29 equals £20.84. So let's pop that in there. Okay, the other thing which I would recommend if you're getting started is Canva. Um, that's going to be great for you for use on social media, making nice looking images and stories for your Instagram and everything like that. Um, and also I know that a lot of people use it for designing their labels. We actually use Photoshop ourselves, however this is a subscription which I already have and I'm pretty sure that Canva will be more reasonably priced, so I'm going to factor in a subscription for that instead. Okay, so looking at this here, obviously you can get a free plan, which obviously will mean you have access to all of these things. However, um, I believe that for business purposes, if you're actually selling your designs that you need to pay for the business plan, I'm pretty sure that that is the case. And also I actually started out on the free plan not long ago and I found that your fonts and other things like that were very limited. So I would recommend that if you are going to use Canva, you are probably going to need the pro plan. So monthly that is going to be 11 pounds and 99 pence. So let's pop that in there. Okay, the next thing that we're going to talk about is the legalities of selling candles. Obviously this is a big one. So the first thing that we're going to be looking at is insurance. Obviously this is so important for selling candles. I can't stress this enough. Please, please, please do not sell a single candle until you have insurance. And it's really important that you make sure that your insurance also includes public liability insurance, which of course means that if, God forbid, any customers came to you stating that your candles had basically caused a fire, that will cover you in terms of compensation or going to court, all that kind of thing. So that is a big one. Um, I'm going to pop in the cost of our own insurance because I know it's really good and it covers us for all different manners of things. So our insurance is £400 a year. Again, that might seem a lot, but I think it's just something that we obviously have to do as a business to be safe and make sure that um, our backs are covered if anything untoward was to happen. And we pay that monthly, so that works out obviously at just over £33 a month and it's not percent uh, interest to pay it monthly. So when you are offered that and you obviously don't want to or can't afford to spend £400 on insurance in a winner, it's not costing you any more money to pay it monthly. So I'm going to pop that in as a monthly cost rather than an annual cost. Okay, so the other thing that you're going to need for selling your candles, of course, are labels. Most people have a CLP slash warning label. Obviously, you can have those separately. However, for us personally, we have always had our CLP and our warning labels combined into the one label. So if you can do that, then I would definitely recommend doing that because obviously you're just going to save on the cost of an extra label on your candles. And then you will also have a label on the front of your products stating your brand name, the fragrance name, um, some other properties that you want people to know about, like what kind of wax is or where it's made, things like that. So let's pop labels in there. Now if you can I would definitely recommend ordering blank labels from a company like Avery. I'm just going to use them as an example here because it's what we used. That is a great way to save money. It's actually not what we did in the very beginning but it is what I would do if I could go back and start the business again because we saved so much money by doing it this way. So let's just have a look at the price of these. So you can get 120 labels on five sheets. Um, which works at 96 pence a sheet, so that is a total of four pounds and 80 pence. So I'm actually going to break this up into CLP labels, and that's four pounds 80 for those, and your normal candle labels. So again, let's say that you want to order these specific labels. Um, they are just white labels, square, um, probably a pretty common shape of labels for candles. So let's say that you are ordering eight sheets of those, which equals 120 labels. That will come to a total of £5.88. 
obviously they're slightly more expensive because they're slightly bigger. And the next thing that we're going to talk about is postage and packaging. Okay, so here we have an option on rajapack.co.uk for just a brown box. A good tip for you again is that if you're looking to keep your costs low in terms of packaging boxes is that brown boxes are always cheaper than white boxes or other coloured boxes. Obviously it's the natural colour of the cardboard so they don't need to go through another process to make them a different colour. So I would definitely recommend that if you're just looking for the most affordable way to send your products and you don't really mind that it's in a brown box rather than a white box or black box then just go with the brown ones because it's going to save you a little bit of money it's not going to be a massive amount but it is worth bearing in mind and we can see here that for 25 it will cost us 62 pence a box whereas obviously as I was saying if you're buying the same ones in white the exact same measurements then it's going to cost you 79 pence per box so it's a little bit different. Then looking here at these boxes which I've added to my basket these will probably be enough for sending two candles in obviously it depends the size and dimensions of your candles but to me it looks like this will be a good kind of size for two candles and you can see here that again we've got free delivery so that's great and with that that comes to a total of £49.80. Now I've only allowed for the two different sizes of boxes and that's because obviously when you've just launched and people are completely brand new to your products they're probably going to be buying one or two maybe at most of your candles. Obviously if they are buying more like three or four then that's great. However I'm not going to factor that in because from your candle supplies you will obviously have accumulated several different sizes of boxes coming to your house and there is no shame whatsoever. I want to put it out there there's no shame whatsoever in repurposing and reusing any of the boxes which you already have in your possession. In fact obviously it's much better for the environment for you to reuse a box as many times as possible and I think most customers are totally aware of that and they're not going to feel duped if you are reusing a box that you already have. But I would say that that is a good kind of starting point for you when you've just launched. You're probably going to be good with a two or three maybe different sizes of boxes. So now that we've got all of those out of the way obviously you will have already made all of your test candles and you will know by this point hopefully which kind of wax, wicks and fragrance oils you are going to want to use. So I've popped those in there because obviously now you're going to have to repurchase those supplies so you can make enough candles to launch with. So we're going to go back on suppliesforcandles.co.uk and we're going to go back to that wax which we bought initially and obviously we're going to want to buy a much bigger bag of that this time. So that is a 22 kilo bag which is going to cost us £71.99. And, and now let's go ahead and buy our wicks. We are probably going to be buying the exact same quantities of the wicks as previously so that is going to add up to the same amount. And now let's have a look at fragrance oil. So I'm going to go back into this one again. So I've got my calculator out so I can find out exactly how much fragrance oil we are going to need to buy. So let's say we are making 100 candles and I've just checked the jar again that was 165 grams which it will hold. So 100 times 165 grams is of course 16,500. Now let's say that we are going to be using 8% fragrance oil in our candles. So I'm going to times that by 0 0.08. So that gives us a total of 1,320. Now as I said we are launching with 8 different fragrances. So I'm going to divide that by 8 and then that gives us a total number of 165. So for each different fragrance we should need about 165 grams of oil. So that's kind of annoying because 125 grams wouldn't be quite enough. So we're going to go ahead and order 500 grams of this oil and I'm just going to pretend that we're ordering 8 different oils but obviously for ease I'm just going to pop in 8 into the quantity of this so I can find out roughly how much it will cost. Okay, so let's go into our basket and see how much this will cost us. So that is going to cost £191.92. Okay, so that gives us everything that we are going to need in order to sell our candles um, effectively and legally as well, which is of course so important. So our total for phase two is £398.47. Now obviously as you can see the most expensive things that we are looking at is our fragrance oils, our wax and postage and packaging. 
And I would say honestly that is just about what I would expect from when we've been buying wax and fragrance oil um, specifically in the recent months we've seen some of those go up by quite a significant chunk of money unfortunately um, due to supply and demand and Brexit and all of those kinds of things um, we're seeing that wax is just costing us much much more than it did in the offset but yeah it is what it is I guess. Okay so now I'm going to add together the total cost from phase one and phase two. So £231.83 plus £398.47 gives us a total of £630.30. So that might seem like an awful lot of money, however I would say that that is actually a pretty realistic amount of money that it could cost someone to buy all of those different supplies and equipment and software etc in order to be able to get ready to sell their candles in a business format. And I think it's really important that we raise awareness of all of these different costs involved. I've certainly seen a fair amount of kind of clickbaity articles and social media posts since I started of people saying I've managed to grow my business into the millions and it costs me only £50 to get started. Yeah so my only hope here is that I have just kind of raised awareness as I said of how much it could cost you and hopefully that number doesn't seem too daunting. Of course there are no hard and fast rules as to how long it has to take you. Obviously it completely depends on your own personal circumstances but there's nothing to say that you couldn't buy all of those initial supplies and equipment etc over you know six months to a year if that is what suits you. I've had a look online at Etsy and various other different websites just to kind of see how much a candle of that exact size will generally sell for and it seems pretty reasonable for me to be able to say that the average price that people will charge for that is about £10. So let's say that you do sell all 100 of those candles which you have made initially for your business obviously that will give you a revenue of £1,000 and let's say that we take that 1000 and minus all of those initial costs that we've just spoken about of £630.30 then that will give you a total profit of £369.70 which of course you can then reinvest back into your business and buy further supplies and equipment and all that kind of thing in order to continue growing your business. Full disclosure I actually was a little bit skeptical about making this video because I didn't want to give you guys like a daunting set of costs involved that wasn't the aim of this video by any means so I hope that you have found this useful and I'd be really interested to know if these costs are what you had imagined or if they're less or more please do let me know in the comment section below I would love to hear your thoughts and opinions and as I said at the start if you did enjoy this video and found it useful then please do give it a big thumbs up it would really help me and my channel I hope Hope you have a lovely day and thank you so much for watching and I will see you in the next one. Bye guys!